Welcome, Nicholas. It's so great to have you on the show today. Really excited to have you here. And I wanted to just uh, put this out there that a lot of the people that we speak with are really therapists or maybe they're training therapists. They're doing that kind of stuff. So it's a little bit different having you on board from our standard guest because you're essentially a, a programmer or a developer and you've created and been the founder of the Splos booking software that's there. So I thought it's a great opportunity to get you on board to chat a little bit about the software. It seems to be a bit of a buzz at the moment going around in the community. So I wanted to just ask you a few questions, get you to share a little bit about what it's been like to create something like that that's used by so many people. So welcome aboard. And Thanks, James. my first question for you is going to be to really just give us a general overview of what Splose is. If people haven't mm -hmm. heard of it yet or they're wondering what is this that we're talking about, give us a share. What is it that it is? Yeah, absolutely. So Splos is the world's most delightful software for allied health and NDIS service providers. And included, we have a lot of myotherapists and massage therapists. So I think today I'll definitely discuss more about how our system is beneficial for massage and myo, although we do have, you know, multidisciplinary teams on our system. Uh, as you said, you know, it seems like we're the new kid on the block. We've actually been on a, a secret mission developing this for for two years, as you would know, James, it takes a lot to get a great system out there. It's not something that can be done quickly. So we have been working and refining the product for two years. And, and more recently, we started to, you know, run some ads and, and talk to more customers who are now using the system. So that's why it's starting to circulate in uh, Facebook groups and, and online because it's really exciting. It hasn't been a new system for a long, long time. And we definitely meet the needs of of customers in 2021 so yeah that's great and essentially it's used for booking clients and a bit of clinic management is that right like give us an overview of what you see as the main feature set absolutely I, the best thing about Splose is that it is an all-in-one system which sounds big and it is what that means is it does everything from onboarding clients intake forms when, someone, when a client submits a form, it automatically updates their profile. You can then collect signatures that gets into the booking system. So you've got online bookings as well. It does do calendar management, invoicing payments, but where it really gets awesome and delightful is that we integrate with so many great apps. We have a two-way integration with Zero. So as you invoice from the system, you can have an accounts team or accountant that reconciles in zero, those payments come back into flows and update the invoice. We've got integrations like Stripe, Medicare, Highcaps, Google Calendar, so many great integrations. So you can actually use flows as your single source of truth. And you have all these integrations which pull in and help you where you need with payments and accounting and, and calendar. So that's what our users are really excited about. Normally there's customers come to us there uh, overwhelmed they're doing things quite manually the integrations in their current system actually hinder their ability to to work effectively and so we find that um, the way we've built this and having everything integrated is what our biggest selling point is yeah that's fantastic i also love twice now you've mentioned the word delightful <laughs> and i love that idea that using software can be delightful because i know there's going to be a bunch of people listening to this who are not particularly tech savvy. They work with their hands all day in the exactly. human world, you know, touching other people's bodies, just, just full on person to person contact mm. is their main thing. And so making it super easy and delightful to actually use some software when they have to can be really great. And one of the reasons that we're speaking is we, we run a massage training business. We do business coaching specifically for massage therapists and one of the things we've done is created like a, a review and comparison list of all the different booking software that's out there at the moment in 2021. Mm -hmm. And we asked the question of the community, what are you using? And so many people came back and said, Splose, you've got to try it. And they, they love the fact that it's Australian, that you guys, they seem to have been on a bit of a journey, some of them through the development cycle. They're saying, you know, we ask for things and they're just introduced. It all just sort of happens as they need it. So it is getting a fair bit of buzz around that we've been hearing. And I guess I want to I want to just ask you, like, what what was it that made you want to do this? There's already a bunch of booking software out there. Mm. Um, do you have a connection to the industry specifically or was it just that you saw a need? Like, what was it that made you want to start this up? 
Yeah, that's a great question because everyone always looks at me and says, you know, are you a therapist? Are you a developer and your, you know, your family members are in allied health? It's an interesting story. I actually was standing behind a Woolworths checkout four years ago and I knew you know, it had to be a, a better way for me. I just finished my Bachelor of Commerce. So my background is, is marketing and management. And I started developing some websites actually for family and friends. And I met someone who was uh, an investor here in South Australia. They did invest a little bit of money in, my, in me to develop websites for others. And, you know, I had this grand scheme to build a big website company. Anyway, our first users, this investor had a lot of allied health clients. So chiropractors, massage, physios, and I would all develop, I would develop websites for them. And they would always ask me, you know, what system should we use now that we've got a website? What should we integrate with? So I went on a mission to find the, the best system for them. And I couldn't in good faith, good conscience, recommend any of the systems that were out there. <laughs> James, they were, they were, you know, most of them are a decade old, built a decade ago. So, you know, the words that started to come out were clunkiness. And as I mentioned, you know, hindering the ability to, to work effectively. So we started building a prototype I had saved enough money to uh, hire our first software engineer and it wasn't long before we uh, put it out there and we did get a lot of early interest. And I think, James, the people you're referring to on Facebook were even some of our earliest users. You know, it took us about eight months, eight to 12 months to build a prototype. And then from there, you know, we further refined it. Our customers direct what we build in the system. We obviously have an agenda of certain features that, you know, are major features, but for the most part, we develop what our customers build. So that's how it started. Now we have a talented team of software engineers that, you know, do the actual developing of the site. And I'm certainly talking to our customers every day to find out what else we can build for them. Yeah, that sounds amazing. You know, one of the things, it's a, it's a fantastic story. One of the things that can happen with software while it is still under heavy development, and I'm just going to put this out there, is that it can be a little bit unstable. Like, mm -hmm. especially at the start, I imagine that, you know, every software has that challenge. But mm -hmm. right now, honestly, how stable is it? Is it something that we can just be jumping in and using full on? Yeah, absolutely. We had an extensive uh, beta, beta phase, almost a year, I would say, where we didn't advertise, we didn't um, go and talk to people about it and say, you should be you know, getting on this. We really made sure that that process was refined and that all the integrations were working well and effectively. So you know, now we have solo massage therapists who use it from you know, 8 a.m. to 9 p.m. And we've got clinics that have 100 plus staff on their team that rely on SPLOS every single day. So, you know, the system does get used from early in the morning all the way to the early hours of the, of the following day, we get messages that come through, especially from smaller providers who do everything themselves. They'll, you know, work all day. And then at night is really about reconciling your accounts and making sure you, all the payments went through. So certainly it's very stable now and, you know, it, people rely on it to run their business. So we're pretty glad to be out of that phase of, of yeah, beta. That's great. Yeah. And anything that helps people do it easier, all that kind of reconciling and business and numbers, this sort of stuff, anything exactly. that makes that easier is hugely welcome. What about, like you, you mentioned, you are from Adelaide. You've started mm -hmm. this business here in Australia in Adelaide. We're based in Australia as well, but a bunch of our listeners will be overseas. Do, is this available overseas or is it Australia only? Yeah, you know, part of being delightful is making sure that it's catered to the correct audiences. So most of our customers are from Australia and we do have customers in New Zealand and, and the UK. But what you'll find in the system is, you know, we have a lot of the Australian uh, rec client record fields like NDIS and Medicare and HICAPS, all dedicated fields which feed into our integration. So when you sign up, you know, we do have a list of countries that we currently support, but right now it's certainly catered for the Australian and New Zealand market. And that's, I guess, what gives us an edge in Australia is that everything is, you know, right there ready for you. There's no workarounds to add in certain fields. Yeah. So. Yeah, that's great. 
And I guess that leads in. The next question I was going to ask was around how you see yourself as being different from those other companies that have been around for a long time. The software itself might be different. Like, again, you're saying some of those things are so old and I totally get that. Some of them are quite clunky or even if they work well, they're still using features and systems that were more relevant years ago. Mm. But aside from just the actual software, what do you feel makes you different as a company? Like, why doesn't one of those old guard just pick up some new ideas and run with them the way that you guys are? Yeah, I I mean, it gets to a point where a system becomes so big, it's more about just managing the current system. And, you know, you would have so many requests come in to fix issues. I guess we're really fortunate. We're at a point where we are using, you know, the, the latest technology and, we are able to rapidly develop new features so a customer can request a feature and it's very likely that that could end up in the system in the next week. So it just, I guess our age really is what gives us the advantage of being able to, to move really quickly. Our team is quite small still, so everything's quite personal. You know, you'll see me on the customer support talking to our users and then that would then get fed into our developers. So the main thing is we, we have the edge where we can listen to our customers and implement what they need really quickly. And that's what our customers love. Where as other systems, you know, they have to go through a process of seeing how that would affect, you know, their users in different countries, different currencies. It becomes really complex to to add in what you need. So Yeah, that's really great. So it's mm. almost like you're more nimble. You just exactly more agile and able to make change, which is fantastic. What about like maybe we could go through what some of those amazing features are that people ask for. Cause I know, you know, being at our end of receiving lots of questions, we're not on top of every software and everything that everyone does, but we do get the same questions regularly. And often people will ask things like just really simple stuff. Can I keep my client notes in there? And does it do oh. soap notes and can I attach documents or do I have to put them in? And oh, I don't know, can I use it on an iPad? Like what are, what are some of the kind of random or kind of cool things that you might have been asked for that you've been able to introduce? Yeah, definitely uh, the templates. Okay. One really interesting thing is we didn't have icons on our calendar to say whether something was arrived or paid for about, a year, I think. And that was actually one of the most requested features. Why don't you have uh, icons on the calendar? So, you know, that's something that I think is pretty funny. Uh, Small details that we, you know, we can add in. So if the client has arrived or not arrived, we show certain icons. If an invoice is sent, if it's been paid, we can show icons for that. So that's one of the the funnier um, kind of features that we've been able to to get in, but more icons. interesting yes. icons, I know, <laughs> for, for, for receptionists and every user, like a receptionist, a practice manager will have their own different requests, which is really great that they come in and we can work on those. But, you know, most commonly we get asked about payments and online booking. So, you know, in our system, you can, you can go and create your own online booking profile. You can customize the colors. You can add your logo, really make it look like an extension of your brand. Uh, we just display a little splose icon in the bottom, but the rest really looks like it's your own page. And uh, you can add online payments as well. So you can ask your clients to pay for initial assessments. You can ask for the full or partial amount. And that's something a lot of massage therapists asked us about. You know, there's, I guess, the risk of new clients coming in and maybe not showing up for their first appointment. The only thing therapists can sometimes gather is the the name and phone number, which doesn't give you much uh, confidence about whether that is payment is really going to go through. So we know we worked on that based on massage therapists asking for it. So now you can certainly get clients to pay for specific appointments. We also get asked about gift vouchers. A lot of massage admirers want to have gift vouchers. And so now we have a fully functional beautiful gift vouchers page you can create your page you can add your own gift voucher designs or you can use our pre-made ones and uh, the clients can book online and and uh, send those gift vouchers as a gift to you know their recipient so those are two really you know fe- great features that we've released in the last few months which especially massage therapists are asking for Yeah, that's cool. It sounds really great. You're right. Those other things that get asked for a lot and some of the other software doesn't handle particularly well. Mm. What about like my background is marketing, right? Mm. So I guess I think about some of the stuff we try and do with therapists and even for ourselves 
in marketing services like this. One of the bugbears I've had with software for booking software for a long time mm. is that it's very difficult in most software to be able to track using something like a Facebook or Google pixel okay. and analytic code whether someone has reached the end point of a transaction. Now, people listening might not even understand what I'm talking about, but basically in something like Facebook or Google, you can put a little bit of code into your shopping cart. And then if someone does end up booking or buying, that can go back and tell Facebook or Google and go, yeah, I want more people like that. Thank you. Because that person ended up booking an appointment. Mm. And so we, we run ads, we send people to a website, but we've not really got an easy way of tracking them if they actually book. I'm putting you on the spot here a little bit, but is that something that Splose does yet? No, we don't currently have the option to add like a Google tracking code or Facebook pixel. Certainly, you know, we'd love to add that. And maybe James, you can assist us with the, the best yeah, way. Maybe, to maybe I'll add that to the that. request list. <laughs> I'm definitely happy to, to add that in, you know, if your, cust- if your uh, network are interested in that, I think it's definitely right. I mean, in terms of your business, you obviously coach, therapists into you know best ways of getting new clients and i'm sure you would suggest google ads is the good option so there should be a way to track the ad spend you know making sure that that is getting into the final stage so that sounds really amazing i can't wait to see that sort of stuff being in place i know that you do have a focus on some other parts of marketing coming from splodes can you share some of the great things that it does do Yes. So we currently have an integration with MailChimp where when you first connect, you can import all of your clients into our system and we'll sync them to your MailChimp account. We'll automatically find if they're already existing in MailChimp or if we need to create them as new contacts. And then you can create, you know, beautiful campaigns using MailChimp email marketing. You can track your open rates and click rates within Splows. So if you navigate to a client's uh, profile, you'll be able to see what their click through rate and open rate is, whether they've unsubscribed from your marketing or whether they are a um, you know active subscriber and, and viewer of your campaigns. We are working on a follow up template as well, so you could certainly create a rule and say you know if this client hasn't been in within four weeks, send them this message with a online booking link, and of course, if you've got payments attached, that could be a great way to generate uh, more revenue. Yeah, that sounds fantastic. Uh, I love one of the things that you've mentioned a couple of times too is how interactive it is or how much it connects with other apps and software. And obviously, you know, something like MailChimp is the predominant email software. So many people use it and things like Xero and other bits and pieces, having something that can just naturally connect with all that stuff sounds really amazing. What would you say is the number one strength of Splos, like overall of all the features that it's got, what would you choose as the number one? (laughs) Well, that's a, uh, that's a, that's a tough question. One of the biggest selling points is the two way integration with zero. That's just something pretty magical. Everyone loves it. Therapists, accountants, uh, the fact that you can do all your invoicing from our system. And when you go to reconcile those payments comes back and updates the invoice in Splose, that's, you know, that's kind of a magic moment. No, not many of our customers have experienced something like that. And you invoice every day. So you've obviously got another side of reconciling that has to happen. So if we can eliminate that time, which we do, you know, we can save therapists a lot, a lot of hours. So that's one of the, the great uh, features. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Another question I'll ask is around business for yourself. Mm-hmm. Now, a lot of the people who are listening to this are therapists. That's a very different business to software development or creating software like that. But the common thread is that all of us are in business. We're all working, creating something, building up our own um, ecosystem of clients and staff maybe and and other networks. And so I guess what I want to hear is if you've got something you can share with other business people, maybe it's something that could be common across all different types of business, what would you pass on as maybe your biggest piece of wisdom or advice to therapists who might be earlier on in their business journey? Uh, I would say it's, you know, it always comes back to solving a problem. You know, I got into this industry to solve a problem and I'm sure your audience got into massage and Maya and other disciplines because they want to solve a problem. So as long as you're solving a problem that you're passionate about, things like customers, market, uh, you know, that'll, that'll all come. You've got to really be passionate about 
what you're doing. And I'm assuming that it would come from experience, either, you know, having their own kind of pain or, or discomfort or some, something in their life that made them want to get into massage or, or myo. So, you know, and don't be afraid to share that story. Most customers will buy into what you're doing because of your story and your passion for what you're doing rather than someone else is just offering a service. So the biggest thing is, which is cliche, is to really be yourself. Don't be ashamed to share your story and, and create content. You know, you think, you know, who's going to be interested in what I'm doing, but I guarantee that if you are solving a problem and you've got a, you know, a unique approach that there's certainly going to be people on the other end interested in what you're doing. Yeah, I absolutely love that. And we really do believe in being authentic. Mm -hmm. And especially, I think that might be more relevant for therapists who become, they, they come face to face with their clients like every day, right? So when someone is receiving the service, they're literally looking at their therapist. They're, they're, yeah. they're eyeballing them Well, at the start, then they're face down in a towel hole. But there's a lot of personal connection there. And so bringing that connection forward in time so that people can actually see you and get a feel for who you are before they've come into the treatment room. To me, that's like super authentic marketing. It's like, you don't want to put something out there that's fake because then when they come in the treatment room, they're not going to see the real you, you know, they're not going to connect in the right way. So I want to make exactly. sure that you, people really are getting out there and connecting well. So I love that. Yeah. And also like uh, it comes down to building personal relationships. You know, you go and see someone, you buy something from you know business, a person, because you've had a relationship with them. They're authentic. Yeah, exactly what you said. Yeah, that's super cool. Thank you so much for coming on the show today, Nicholas, and sharing a bit about Splose and what it does. Uh, actually, before we finish, there's one question that Leash made me promise to ask. And that's okay. about the name. What's up with sure. the name Splose? It's like a super, super hard to say. Leash reckons it sounds like a sneeze uh, I reckon it sounds like you're saying suppose kind of like, oh, I suppose so. <laughs> What's, where's this come from? <laughs> oh, I don't think it's uh, at that point where you could say, you know, let's Uber it or let's, let's close it yet. But look, <laughs> it's, you know, there was a name of our original website company, which we created. It's a short, sharp kind of name. It does get people thinking, what is this? You know, you, you, you certainly won't forget it because it's so unique and, you know, yeah, it was the original web, um, name of our website company. And, you know, as you know, most of the other systems is something calendar or something diary and it just becomes another uh, name in, in the bunch. So we really, you know, we're happy that this could be something unique and I want to say uh, unforgettable. And delightful. <laughs> and delightful, of course. <laughs> yeah, I love it. Thank you so much for being on today, Nicholas. It's been great to have a chat. We wish you all the best. Now, if anyone does want to find you and Splos, uh, where's the best place to do that? Yeah, thanks so much, James. It's been really great to talk to you. You can certainly visit our website, which is splos.com. We certainly have all the information about our features. You can start a free trial. And uh, for your uh, audience, James, we are going to just provide a, a code if those are interested just to give you a little bit of a benefit there for joining. So we'll, I'm sure you'll put that in the show notes. Yeah, but we will, definitely. Other than that, the website is the best place to reach us for a trial or, or, or a chat before you sign up. Yeah, no worries. That sounds absolutely fantastic. Thank you for putting that together for us, Nicholas. And we'll catch up with you soon. Thanks, Bye. James. See you later.